and vigilante after his best friend is murdered by local thugs. I'm scared, Harry. Kids from the estate. I'm not going to take it anymore. You should talk to the police. I've already been to the police. <laughs> London-born director Daniel Barber feels the film is a reflection of lawless Britain, and he fears there'll be more cases of vigilantism if things do not change. Well, I think every day in the newspapers in our country, unfortunately, you read about stories of you know, horrendous acts of violence um, perpetrated by youths on themselves within their gangs and groups, but also on normal members of society. The film is not about blaming it on the police or about blaming it on anyone in particular. It's just showing the helplessness of the situation that is arising in this country. The film, I hope, is a warning. The film may seem an extreme example, but in fact similar stories make the British headlines all the time, with ordinary Brits acting in what they see as self-defence but ending up on the wrong side of the law. Celebrity Mylene Class was routed by the cops after wielding a knife at an intruder in her London home. Amari Roberts was charged with murder after stabbing a teen who was burgling his mother's house. And businessman Manir Hussain ended up in prison for battering an intruder who tied up and threatened the lives of his wife and his children. The intruder was left with brain damage and Manir a three-year sentence. The immediate public outcry at Manir's detention led to his release by the Lord Chief Justice and opened the debate on rights of householders. Are they protecting their home or simply meeting out a legitimised form of vigilante justice? You know, you put yourself in that situation, you don't know how you would react, um, but you feel you should have a right to, uh, to defend your family, to defend your house, uh, you know, your loved ones and your close ones. Manier's case echoes that of Tony Martin, a man whose decision to fatally shoot a burglar divided Britain in 1999. Despite serving a three-year sentence for manslaughter, Tony's position on the right to defend one's property has not changed. As Parliament stands today and how the laws are, we've got to swirl in the filth of other people. When you've got criminals around, you start to do things you wouldn't normally do and you should be protecting law against things you wouldn't normally do. According to the British Crime Survey, only 38% of the British public feel our criminal justice system is effective. Of every 100 crimes recorded by our police, only two of those 100 will lead to any kind of criminal conviction. Now, if you're living in an area that's uh, bereft of formal law and order, is experiencing high crime levels, and particularly burglary, are you going to go to the police or are you going to try and buy a guarding service that's going to protect your property? With confidence in the police at a low, private security firms have mushroomed across Britain. In Darlington, North East England, ex-boxer fearless Francis Jones runs Sparta Street Safe. They patrol Skirm Park Estate, one of the roughest in town. Francis and his staff of six are paid weekly by frightened locals who feel abandoned by the police. Since coming into operation in October 2009, Sparta has gained over 30 clients, and at current growth, this looks set to reach over 300 by the end of 2010. So what, what got you into this? Well, calls of friends, really. They'd say, Francis, listen, we have problems with youths gathering on our streets. Uh, can you come to the area and uh, and help the situation? After the second or third phone call, I started to think, you know, hang on, there's a niche in this market, you know. Why do I have to do the police's job, you know? And uh, so that's when I... You know, the idea was planted, the seed was planted about setting up Sparta Street Safe and having wardens patrol uh, different areas in the town centre which are troublesome and which, which have antisocial behaviour. When I've interviewed people who've, say, bought the services of a vigilante to protect their homes from being burgled, or some kind of security service that usually is being provided by the police, but they, that these members of the public are now paying for this service, often they'll get...